Achorja, friends. My name is Robert O'Driscoll and I'm Ireland's Consul General here in San Francisco. I want to pay tribute today to the um, Irish Club in Alaska for bringing your Galway Days Irish Festival virtual uh, this August 8th. I'm going to wish you every success uh, on, on the, uh, the programme uh, for today. At this moment, uh, we have to come together, uh, unfortunately, by being apart. Um, but let's hope that this is for this year only and that next year we can meet in person and exchange stories and ex enjoy Irish music and Irish culture together in a way that we have done for many, many years. I look forward to next year's. I'm hoping I can join you. Until then, um, good luck at the festival uh, and uh, stay safe uh, and keep well. Our next performers are from a very talented family, and I have been lucky enough to benefit from the warmth, generosity, and link to tradition of two of them. Brian Conway is one of the premier Irish-American fiddlers who performs with a skill, grace, and force that are steeped in tradition, yet distinctively his own. Well known in the Irish and Celtic music community, Conway has won numerous All-Ireland fiddling competitions and has been called one of the best fiddlers of his generation. Nothing is missed or missing in Brian Conway's distinctive Sligo-style fiddling. Brian is one of the foremost proponent, proponents of that highly distinctive Sligo style in this country. He comes from a direct lineage of legendary fiddlers Martin Wynn and Andy McGann, who was in turn a direct student of Michael Coleman. And my little story of benefiting from Brian's teaching is that when he came to Alaska, I was so excited that he would be teaching up here that I took an overnight flight from Washington State where I had been. It seemed like a great idea at the time, but by the time I made it here for the festival that he was teaching, I could barely keep my eyes open. And it really says something about both his patience and his ability of a te as a teacher that he not only put up with a student who was practically nodding off in her chair, but he actually managed to teach me something <laughs> through the haze that I was inhabiting. And he was such a wonderful teacher that I also traveled to Arizona to take a week of classes from him there. So if you get a chance to go to Brian's workshop during this festival, don't miss it. Brian was also, on top of my personal praise, voted Irish Echo's top traditional artist for 2008. And Dermy the Linen magazine described him as one of the finest Irish American musician fiddlers that you'll find. Today, he's going to appear with his sister, Rose Flanagan, and his nephew, Kieran Flanagan. Rose Conway Flanagan originally began Irish music lessons with Martin Mulvihill while growing up in the Bronx. She then further developed her New York Sligo style of fiddling with the help of family friend and mentor, Martin Wynn, and her older brother, Brian Conway. Rose was recently inducted into the Mid-Atlantic Region CCE Hall of Fame, along with her father, Jim, and her brother. She currently has a large music school in her hometown of Pearl River, where she is hard at work preparing the next generation of great traditional musicians, which includes several All-Ireland winners and medalists. Rose has also taught the local musicians here in Anchorage many of the tunes that we frequently play at the session, so you could say she has a direct line in shaping the music up here as well. And I always look forward to her frequent annual visits to play for one of the state's premier Burns nights every winter. Rose recently released a duo CD with flute player Laura Byrne from Baltimore, entitled Forget Me Not. Now, hailing from Pearl River, New York, Kieran Flanagan comes from a family of well-known Irish musicians, namely his mother, Rose Flanagan, and uncle Brian Conway. Since the age of 10, he has been a protege of the esteemed Irish pianist, Brendan Dolan, as well as student to renowned flute player, Margie Mulvihill. Kieran has won many Irish music competitions in the New York area and has gone on to win first place on the piano in accompaniment at the All-Ireland Flog, a world competition held in Ireland once a year. He is currently studying as an undergraduate civil engineering major at Manhattan College. Please welcome the Conway Plan and Flanagan families. I play a set of barn dances that I like to put together. The first one is called Mrs. Kenny's and we'll follow it. Rose, what are the names of the other two? Jim Gannon is the second one, or Chapel Post. Yeah. And the third one is... Memories of Sligo. There we go. Okay. I'll start us out? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this is a set of tunes that I like to call The Lord Set, uh, Lord McDonald's and Lord Gordon's. <laughs> second one is called The First Light of Day, or From Galway to Dublin, or Bonaparte Crossing the Rhine, take your pick. Um, I know Joni Madden likes to call it The uh, uh, First Light of Day. And then we'll finish with the tune, what's the third one, Rose? Uh, Galway. Galway Hornpipe. Galway Hornpipe. Coleman recorded the Galway Hornpipe with another tune called McDermott's, and called the, the both tunes collectively McDermott's. All right, so we'll give it a try. So I'll start it out. Thank you. 
So I thought I'd play a hornpipe called The Castle and follow it with a reel called Joseph Banks, which I actually learned from my student, Andrew Caden. <laughs> It's a composition of Brevi. Right. And we're going to go into Castletown Connors. And the third one is a favorite of mine, Dancing Eyes. Okay. Want to start it, Rose? Uh, okay, why not? <laughs> All right.
slower called Dear Irish Boy, uh, and we'll go into I, my favorite Ed Weeby tune, Fisherman's Island.
next set of tunes will be uh, three of the tunes that Martin Wynn wrote. Um, Martin Wynn's number two, followed by Martin Wynn's number one, and then Martin Wynn's number three. As I love to say, he was always better, he was much better at composing tunes than giving them clever titles. I'll start it out, Rose, and then you come in. Great. Okay. And of course, Kieran, don't leave me hanging. Thank <laughs> you. 